Good morning and uh, welcome again to our morning devotion insight. This morning I want to share with you from uh, Luke chapter 8 verse 15 and it says those who hear the word and by perseverance produce a crop. I'm going to talk to you about faithfulness and perseverance. Faithfulness and perseverance. You know there is a translation that says it and reads it this way. It says as for the seed in the good soil, that means those who hear and hold fast the word in a good, sound heart, and so bear fruit steadfastly. So, note the word, so bear fruit steadfastly. It means steadfastly bear fruit. So, only the steadfast are finally fruitful. I say it again. Only the steadfast are finally fruitful. You know, when a, a minister of a large church, when asked what was the outstanding need, of his congreg- or congregation. It means, what is the most outstanding need that is needed? He says, faithfulness. He says, faithfulness. And he says, 50% of church members are hangers-on, getting a free ride, contributing nothing from purse or person. 25% promise to do something. And then, after a few steps at it, drop out. They lack fidelity. The life of this church is carried on by the remaining 25%. D.L. Moody, the great American preacher, said this, If you could get people who put their hand to the plow and never draw back, no matter what the wind or weather, we would have a growing and powerful church. I say again, Dear Moody, the great American preacher, said, if we could get people who put their hand to the plow and never draw back, no matter what the wind or weather, we would have a growing and powerful church. How many of us, I wonder, you know, have loose ends, broken promises? We have half-fulfilled tasks cluttering up in our lives. Whose fault is it? Maybe we ask. It cannot be the fault of the Holy Spirit, for He dwells in us to provide the power to see things through if we would let Him. So, success in this area of the Christian life, as in all areas, is letting go and letting God, letting go of self-effort and surrendering to the power of the Spirit who is resident, who lives in us. So as someone once put it, The Christian life is not my responsibility, but my response to his ability. My Christian life is not my responsibility, but my response to his ability. God, it is your ability that I'm hanging on, that God, you will help me to grow, to be fruitful, to persevere. I tell you, it never does, never does the Holy Spirit appear more wonderful when we appear in the fruit of faithfulness. So when we are faithful, when we say, God, I'm faithful, I will just depend on your ability. I will ride on your ability huh? and allow the Holy Spirit to do that work and to stay faithful. That's where we see huh? the crop of perseverance and faithfulness hanging there and we will see an abundant of harvest. So let us pray this morning, Father, I recognize again that the fruit of the Spirit can only develop in me to the extent that I'm surrendered. Uh, So help me go more deeply into you this day and every day and to persevere and to be faithful in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So let us have this, to be faithful and to persevere in our walk with God. As we complete this year, we, we, we will be able to say, God, I'm staying faithful. I'm persevering. God bless you and have a great year.